Yo, what it did it do? It's your boy Black Hay Suits with the juice, man, coming back at ya. Um, hope everybody's doing good, man. What's today? Today, Tuesday, right? The 30th. Last day of the month. We about to hit December. It's about to be Christmas. Y'all. But anyways, um, man, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I hope your turkey day was good. Uh, mine was decent. Uh, my pops was in the hospital. So uh, we did it at my mom's crib. I cooked a fair amount. I tell myself every year, why am I celebrating Turkey Day? You know, what it what it really came from. You know, when you if you if, if they want to change the whole process of it, I'm cool with that. Like making it just like a family day. But when you say it comes off the backs of a whole um, race, like the genocide of a race, that's cold, man. And, uh, you know, but that's what they say about certain people. They sneaky. They'll sneak right in and slit your throat while you sleep. And that's going to be a perfect segue to this story. Now, this story isn't about me at all. I don't got nothing to do with this story. Let's make that perfectly clear. But I was dealing with somebody that was very, very close to this story. So I'm going to tell you guys everything I know. Uh, I'm not like a news guy or nothing like that. I be feeling like the news is fake. And they be adding what they want to add. Like, it, it's not even factual based anymore. It's majority of opinions. And you know how that go. The court of public opinion, you nine times out of ten going to always be uh, guilty. There's more people that's going to hate you than like you. So, yeah, so this this uh, happened back, I want to say, in 2018, I believe it was. 17, 18, one of them, I don't know. And uh, I was dealing with this chick, man. Her name was uh, Stacy. And uh, she had a younger brother. Uh, I think he was maybe like five years younger than us. Uh, his name was Greg. Uh, Greg, and uh, I believe it was, I believe his last name was like Bahumanti or something like that. Uh, they were um, from the islands, Pacific Islander. Uh, me and Stacy, we were super dope, right? And um, we had a very very good relationship. Now the story about her brother, which is one of them ones, y'all. Y'all ready for one of them ones? Now, this dude was crazy. I'm trying to get this thing. Uh, this dude was crazy, y'all. This guy was trying to prove himself into a gang. And um, he was a crash test dummy. And for y'all that don't know what a crash test dummy is or a crash dummy, um, it's one of those ones, those guys that you know that you can tell them to do whatever and they're going to go do some clown-ish. You know, it's like back in high school when you'd be like, oh, I bet you won't go and, you know, slap this girl on her butt. You know what I mean? And then the person go and do it, get suspended for five days, and you laughing for your enjoyment, right? It's a crash dummy. So this, this gentleman, <laughs> he was trying to get into a gang. I'm not going to say the name of the gang because uh, I ain't want no retaliation. But in every gang, there's crash dummies. Like, this should be real. There's always somebody that is trying to win and capitalize off the mental or lack thereof mental and mentality of others. I've never been that way. Again, if you ever watched any of my videos, you know, uh, I never was, like, in a gang, per se. I was in cliques, cliques that I created. And, I mean, I know what they stood for was never nothing big 10 at the most I mean it was more it was more for protection you know rather it was sports looking fly getting females or music like that's just how it was and uh I didn't like that mentality of people go do this go prove to me that you are come on now well I gotta prove to you you prove to me you know what I'm saying like you're recruiting me into your game so you need to prove to me they, I should even be messing with that. But anyways, 
So Greg happens to say, oh, I can do this. He goes into LA County Jail. He goes into the reception area. Now, the funny thing about Greg is, Greg has found it upon himself to pose as an FBI agent. I can't make this up, y'all. I cannot make this up. Greg said, I'm going to be a FBI agent. I'm gonna get into this jail and I'm gonna assassinate this guy. This is what I'm coming for, for assassination for my gang because this guy is a snitch and we gotta get him out because the head guy is gonna go down. And you know what they say, you cut the head off the snake, the body falls with it, you know? Or you cut the head off the snake and the body just goes crazy. You don't know where to go, just doing his thing, right? So, uh, he gets in there, this is what he tries to do. He said, oh, I'm here to see such and such. Okay, can I see some sort of identification? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 sure, yeah. Uh, let me reach for it. Uh, 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 yeah, here you go. <laughs> you feel me? This dude really did. He was like, yeah, here you go. He was like, uh, excuse me, sir, can I, one more time? Oh, yeah, yeah, no bro. There you go. Oh, but sir, I, I, I need to really, I need to really look at that. Oh, you need to look at that? Like, yeah. Like, so, <laughs> this dude is funny. Every time I think about this story, it is funny, bro. Like, who does this shit, man? Who does? <laughs> so, right when the guy, um, the, the sheriff, the other officer um, behind the visiting desk, he is now at this time, you know, getting the attention of his colleague. Now he's listening. Now Greg says, you know what? It's getting too hot in here. I gotta get away. I gotta get away. So you know what Greg does? Greg says, instead of me running out of the reception center and getting the hell up out of here, you know where I'm gonna go? I'm gonna run out of the reception center and cross the street and go where? So y'all that know, y'all know where he went. To the county. This brother, he ran from the reception, excuse me, from the reception center at the county jail in Los Angeles, people. Let it sink in. And he runs across the street to the main jail. I cannot make this up. Now, Stacy is telling me this. She's sitting there crying. I'm in the car. And, you know, y'all don't know me, but if y'all ever met me, like, it'd be so hard for me sometimes to show my emotions on my face. But when there's some sh when there's some stuff that's just, like, either funny or crazy, like, you're going to see all on my face. Like, like you're going to tell. So she's sitting here. She's, oh, I don't know why you did that. And she's telling me the story, and nine times out of 10, I don't be paying attention. So I'm playing the video game on my phone, listening to her. And when she told me that he ran away and told me that he ran into the main jail, I stopped my game and I looked at her and I said, hold on, where did he run to again? <laughs> he ran to jail. I start dying. I said, babe, your boy, your, Yo, your brother is, is yo, he one of them ones. Most, most people run away from jail. He ran to jail? Oh man, what's going on though? I'm laughing and she's like, it's not funny, stop, stop, it's not funny. And I'm dying. And then the way she's crying too, I'm sorry, Stacy. I'm sorry if you see, if you ever read it, I'm sorry. Listen, I mean, watch this, I'm sorry. But you know, everything I'm telling you is the truth. She's crying and I'm dying because she's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that was so funny. So she's, I'm dying, laughing, listen to her, right? So I'm getting, I'm like, okay, baby, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> like that, right? It's okay, okay, so tell me what, what, what happened? So yeah, he ran across the street 
and they tackled him and they, and they tased my brother. I'm like, what, for real? Yeah. I'm like, okay, tell me more. What did they find on him? Was like drugs or something? <laughs> no. I'm like, well, what, 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 what's going on? What, what did they find? They found handcuffs, a hunting knife, and these. <laughs> and when she said these, I had some um, clear uh, zip ties in my car because I was setting up my um, my speakers in my doors, and I had screwed in and I broke the little whole area so it was like you put the screw in there to just fall off so I had used the clear zip ties to just you know tighten them in there for security so when she said when she said that and she said and these I looked <laughs> oh shit I started dying again I said, what do you got zip ties for? She said, I don't know, but why are you laughing? It's not funny. I said, you're right, it's not funny. She said, well, what's going on? I said, oh, I was just looking back there. Something that happened back there. All right, so they tackle him. They take everything away from this dude, man. They took the ID out of, out of his wallet, yo. This clown had a cut out photograph of him when he was in high school. So he had his high school ID. He went online and just Googled FBI badge, you know, printed it up with some glossy paper so it'll look a little bit more genuine. He just pretty much cut it out in the way and then put his thing there. And then in the back, he put like a little piece of cardboard so everything will stick in place. And then he stuck that cardboard into his wallet. Oh, let me see. Let me see if I can show you. Louis. So he took his wallet. Oh, let me go there. He took his wallet and right here. So when he flashed it, he just like, you know what I'm saying? So when they took it out, <laughs> They took it out and it just, <laughs> oh shit. I can just imagine if I was the cop, bro, I would have been dying. I would have been looking at this dude like, what the fuck? Send him straight to mental right now. He ain't even, nah, mental. You feel me? Psych ward, let's go. <laughs> yeah, man. So they asked this dude, so bro, what's going on? Like, are you okay? He was like, yeah, I'm okay. Well, what, what, what were you trying to do with, what's going on? I had to infiltrate the system to make sure that you guys didn't keep my brother down. Quote, unquote. Bro, I wish I was there because I know his voice and I know he said it the exact same way I just said it. He was so extra. This dude was a weirdo. So, come to find out, when everything started getting put in the news, this dude also had something maybe two to three years prior where he was at the freaking county office, I mean the county, for um, selling uh, um, uh, pornographic, minor porno pornos. I don't even know that. Ch children pornography, there you go. And it wasn't like, you know, in California, the age of consent is 18. So they found out that this person was 17 and uh, 16, and they were having sex with the teacher. Now, mind you, the teacher was all tied up, so you couldn't really tell who it was. And she had like, um, like certain clothes on, so you couldn't see like body and tattoos and stuff like that. But they had it on, she had like this little black, you know, I went and saw it, that's how I know. <laughs> oh, shut up. But anyway, you had the little black, um, like a, a bodysuit and it had the holes it had two holes in the front and then she had the thing over her face and she had a hole in the mouth a little hole like it's in the eyes she didn't even have a nose she couldn't even breathe through her nose when she was you know doing whatever so these these students were sitting there piping her down and this dude knew that and uh he was selling it and he was giving the teacher some money 
and the kids were getting a good nut off because the teacher was not ugly at all. You know what I mean? And she was definitely somebody that I would have, I would have definitely did the videos with her for free. Let's just keep it real. I'm gonna she's so honest. That's how that's how good she looked. But uh, yeah, man. So the, found out this dude did that clown ish as well. So he was already like, I wouldn't say on bail, but he already had a pending case. He already had a pending case, bro. So that's what makes me feel like his gang knew that. And they said, we're gonna set this dude up. We don't want him in our shit anyway, because look at the type of person he is. Now this gang, when you hear about them in the street, they're pretty much like real stand up dudes as far as um, their reputation. You didn't really hear about any of them being on drugs, any of them, you know, beating on their girlfriends, any of them doing any of that foo-foo-ish and do none of that, you know what I'm saying? But this dude was a clown, man, Greg, Salute you, brother. I know your dumb self is still in jail. If you smart enough to even get a freaking cell phone in there, you're a clown. Stacy, I'm sorry, but you know your boy is a clown. Your brother was a clown and you knew it and you thought I was gonna be a part of y'all clown family. It wasn't gonna happen. But uh, call me. <laughs> but yo, man, I hope y'all, uh, um, like the video, man. Uh, it's really more so of information based on these dumb A people in this world. They're, they're clowns. This is what we call them in my, where I'm from, the clowns. Grade A clowns. You know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all appreciated the video. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to give as much content as I can. A lot of it's gonna be in the car and a lot of it's gonna be driving because I'll be busting moves for my business. Now, dude, I appreciate you for watching the video, whether it's one or a million and one of y'all. I so much appreciate that. Um, I hope um, everyone, like I said, is having a good day and everything is good. Uh, please give me a like. Definitely comment. And most importantly, subscribe with y'all ugly ass. Now, you know, that's, that's my boy, man. Hey. That's my boy. Shout out to my boy. Y'all love Eddie. Go watch him, man. He do a lot of sketch comedy. Y'all love Eddie. Go watch him. Y'all gonna be extremely, extremely satisfied with the comedic side of him. Um, Y'all love Eddie, my boy Big Ja, uh, uh, my boy Minx, uh, M-I-K-S, um, my boy uh, 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 Wayne GTV, uh, who else? My boy, uh, uh, what's my boy name, man, that put me on, man. Um, I was in one of his skits. That's crazy. I can't remember his name. Um, Jay Horn, the dog. Love him, man. And, and the women. Uh, I will do Jay, uh, Jay the Fade. Uh, who else? Um, Organic Christine. Uh, Zena Horn. Man, all y'all salute to all y'all. Appreciate y'all, man, for bigging up the platform. And again, like, comment, subscribe. It's free. But it helps me help y'all. So it'll help me help y'all so I can help be helped when I'm y'all. Yep. Yeah. Bow.